What up guys and welcome to another day of vlogging every day in August. Today it's going to be something completely different, nothing to do about fitness but to do with my image. I am going a bit different might you say. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this for the first time go and hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video give me a like. Obviously it's not like all my other videos, but obviously I'm vlogging every single day in August and you're going to get a few lifestyle vlogs in it because I cannot show you a fitness video every single day. It just get boring. Um, so today I am actually changing the whole of my image. This is all getting sorted and the fro is getting sorted as well. So what I've done is I've bought all the products ready for it. I'm going to be doing it through this and I'm going to be taking you through the way. So let's get started on what I've actually got. I've got this. What it is, is hair straightening serum. As you can see, my hair is like afro. It is like, basically, I've got, I'm a white man with black man's hair. So I'm going to have to straighten it and relax it. I've done it before, but... I think my hair's thinning out in a bit in parts, um, but sometimes it's just the way my hair is um, because I've been wearing a hat a lot. Of, it just seems to push down, spread apart, and it just gets like that. So, so what I've got to do first is got to put this on and then sort it out. What this does is make the hair straight, so my hair will actually be longer when I'm doing. I'm going to go through on a time lapse doing this first, and then what will happen is. I'm going to go and dye my hair after and I'm going for a completely different colour for this colour. Yes. Well, if I'm going to go grey, I might as well go grey in a different cool way. So it's like a silvery grey. I don't know if it's going to take as well. So it's all experiments. I'm probably ending up shaving the whole of my hair off and being bald again. Also, I'm getting, I'm keeping this, but I'm obviously going to get it shaped. After all I've done, after everything I've done, I'm going to go to the barbers, get my hair cut, get all this properly done, faded, and see what I look like. So I have to dye the beard as well because that looks like a mess. And I've bought some black hair dye for, for my beard. So I will be doing all that on a time lapse. And then I will be going to the hairdressers after it's all done and you will see the final actual show. Let's go in the bathroom and start the first procedure, which is relaxing my hair.
as you can see, it is now straightened, but I haven't had it cut and I need to colour it. So I'm now going to go and colour it. Well, it's on now. I've got to stick with this now for half an hour. One point, if you're trying to put straightening serum on and then hair dye on, straight after, don't. It burns like hell. Now, I'm going to have a cup of tea and then it's late at night so I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow let my hair settle and dry naturally. And I will see you in the morning. Voila! Yes! I'm bald again. Yeah. When you saw that last uh, video of me just before I was going to bed, it was pretty dry. I was thinking, well, obviously my, dark, my hair's a bit darker, so I thought it might not come out that colour anyway. You know, it might come out darker, sort of grey. Um, that's what I was actually going for. I was going for the like platinum, like grey look, uh, platinum silver, whatever you want to call it. Um, thing is, it didn't work because I straightened and real well relaxed my hair because I've got curly hair. Um, I've noticed now being old, which I hate, um, that I'm actually thinning. I'm right at the back. It's only a little bit, but because my hair is quite short anyway, when I was doing it, and of course. Me having thick hair, you can't really notice it when I've got my hair like this. You know, if I went like that, you wouldn't really notice. Um, and and what happened was, obviously thinning my hair has thinned actually my scalp. Um, I don't know if you've ever noticed it on like actually, well, African people or people, you know, who have got Afro hair. They sort of, their hair is either really thick and you cannot see anything past the hair. It's like a sponge or it gets like matted in certain areas of the head. Um, and I know somebody who's um, he's Jamaican and he's, he's going bald like his dad. Um, I'm not saying I'm going bald, but it's thinning. Um, the hair is all over my scalp. It's just... Some parts it's not growing as much as other parts where at the front all here is fine. I may, I may be like a little bit of a receding on the one side, but you can't really tell. Um, but at the back, when it, my hair was thinner and I thinned it out, it did look a lot thinner than actually the front. So that as well, plus the color didn't come out as I wanted to. Plus my head was stinging and it absolutely sore all the way here. I did my beard and you know what? I don't like beards. I've never been a beard person. I think they look scruffy. I'm sorry to people who've got beards. I'm sorry to everybody. Probably people who I know quite well have got beards. And you just, unless it's a certain length, I think after a certain length, you, you, it does look scruffy. I mean, it either suits you or it doesn't. And uh, frankly, I look better like this. I like the, the just a little bit of stubble, you know, when it's just come, you know, a day's worth of growth, two days of growth. And frankly, I like being like a skinhead. Well, not a skinhead, but I like being the Vin Diesel look because back in the day, people said, you look a bit like Vin Diesel. So, you know what? It's better than looking like Pee Wee Herman. If you know who Pee Wee Herman is. Right? Comment down below if you know who Pee Wee Herman is.